over to Hutch now to find out about the forecast. Hutch? Thanks so much, Andrea. Well, look at this mess. More snow falling here in the FM area on top of a layer of ice, making things a little bit tricky. One thing that's not tricky is we're going to have a, some fun tonight. It is our Luther Family Ford Weather Kid Night. Annika Fox joins me now. Uh, you're from the DGF School District, is that right? Yes. How old are you? Uh, 10 years old. And what grade are you in? Fourth grade. Did you guys study some weather this year? Uh, yes, the water cycle, kind of, mostly. And oh, really? other. Good. Other more stuff. Other more stuff. And what's your favorite subject to study at school? Math fractions. Really impressive. I would say maybe one fifteenth of the kids who come through say math, and one one hundredth of the kids that come through say they like fractions. So that means you're about the only one in years. Step over here, Annika, and why don't you point out to everybody at home what the temperature is right now outside in Fargo? It is 24. Very good. Now, we have a south-southeast wind. It's blowing at 11 miles per hour. We have some snowflakes out there. And out to the west, why don't you find the warmest temperature you see and point that out for um, us? I'm going to say right here is 33. Good. That's in Aberdeen, and temperatures out generally are in the mid-20s to the west. Let's slide over here and take a look at Minnesota. Why don't you point out where you see the coldest readings right now? Um, I'm going to say these two that are 19. Very good. So Wadena and Bemidji out there a little bit cooler in central Minnesota. Now, in our Minnesota counties, visibilities are over a mile in almost all locations. Why don't you point out some areas where it's a little tough to see uh, across the street right now? Um... I'm going to say Jamestown. Very good. Jamestown and even down in Oaks, it's under a mile visibility and even up here in Cavalier. So in eastern North Dakota, there's some real difficult uh, spots seeing. Now, what is this map showing you when you take a look at all this blue? What does that mean, Annika? Uh, the dark blue is um, the dark blue is heavy snow and light mm. blue is um, light snow. Good. So we do have some bands of bigger snowflakes making their way in and around the FM area. And for your friends in the DGF area, what do you see there? What's this light blue mean? Uh, light snow. A little bit of light snow on the Highway 10 corridor as you're driving between the FM area and there. Now, what is going on out to the west? What towns are seeing snow out there? Um, Rapid City, maybe a little bit in Bismarck and Wilston and Right. And right yeah. here in Minot. Yeah. That's right. Okay, let's talk about this forecast. I'm going to have you take a step back as we go through the evening tonight because our clouds, snow, and fog are going to stick around till 10 o'clock as they slowly exit. The, the temperature doesn't change too much, and this dark stuff that you see here is more low clouds and fog. So by morning, does the low clouds and fog go away? Um, not not much, no. but in some p places, maybe. Maybe way out to the far west, but the rest of us are going to deal with another slippery drive in the morning, right? There's yes. going to still be some of that snow left unless you get up early and shovel. Is that your job? No. No, not your job. Okay. As we go towards midday, though, for the lunch recess, what changes? What do you see? Um, that's Jamestown and uh, right here is uh, kind of clear. Yeah, there's some clearing going on. So for our western counties, there'll be a chance for some afternoon sun. It looks like low clouds linger all the way into the afternoon and evening for our Minnesota counties. But maybe, maybe a chance at seeing some sun. Would you like that? Yes. How many days has it been since Annika saw the sun? Mm, maybe... Several days? Yeah. No, not... Or yeah, maybe. I think several. It's been a while. Let's back up and why don't you tell your friends at DGF what they can expect at the morning bus stop. Uh, cloudy and foggy and 19. Good. How about after school? What can they expect then? Sun and clouds with 27 degrees. Good. And your hometown forecast shows temperatures have the best chance at getting close to 30 in what communities? Um, you can just point to them. That's fine. Close to right. 30. Yeah, right here. Yeah, Fargo's not too far from 30. Maybe Jamestown as well. And as we look off towards Minnesota, just a little cooler. Mostly mid-20s there until we get here. Babe the Blue Ox out in Bemidji. Now, let's take a look at our planning forecast. But first, a photo shared with us. Look at this horse with the frosty scene out there. This is in Cullum in South Central. David, thanks for sending that photo in. How's Saturday look? What's this mean? Uh, Saturday with a little bit of clouds and maybe a little bit more sun with breezy 
winds and 35 degrees. Excellent work. How about Sunday? What do you think about Sunday on Groundhog's Day? Um, Sunday, probably kind of the same as uh, Saturday, 42, breezy, some sun and some clouds. 42 awesome degrees out there. Then it gets a lot warmer or colder as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Yes. Colder? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's three below. So better enjoy those 30s and 40s. Annika, you did a great job. Follow me over this way. Now, I'll tell you what, since you like fractions and you like numbers, and it seemed like you really enjoyed your weather discussions that we had today, so do you like a little science too? Mm. <laughs> oh, Maybe. God, put you on the spot. Up for debate. Yeah. yeah. She definitely doesn't like shoveling, though, the way it sounded. No, who I, does? I don't I'm like with you on that one. Yeah. You did a very nice job. Thanks Fantastic. for coming. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, General Motors, you might be interested in this, is resurrecting the Hummer. And Ooh. this version, yes, is expected to make environmentalists happy. That's next. That's not a Hummer. Oh, those are horses.